spiritual oppression oppressors operate during the night when people are far asleep they operate when one is at the wicked level this is the powers of night that is how they operate that's why we need to attack these powers of the night i have a video talking about the nights so you can go and help yourself from there hallelujah praise be the name of jesus lord we thank you these spiritual oppressors operate during the night when people are far asleep they operate when one is at the wicked weakest level hallelujah praise be the name of jesus oppressors oppressors can op oppress anything that belongs to you your destiny can be oppressed marriage can be oppressed children can be oppressed work can be oppressed prayer life can be oppressed dream can be oppressed you go to bed immediately you enter the bed it is a war you can't sleep you start having very bad dream you have demon molesting you they come in to, to 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 have sex intercourse you can't enjoy you know there's some people who are struggling with sleep they cannot even sleep some people i prayed for a person who has not been sleeping for five years the person is struggling when he goes to bed he he starts he start seeing ghosts he starts seeing he, he fight until morning the past there are people who are having so much problem even to go to bed they don't want to go to bed if you look at the psalms you look at the book of deuteronomy from 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 verse 15 to 66 you will see some the, oh from from 66 i think 60 something i can't remember the scripture properly the, you will see there's some people when the time comes they will say when it's in the morning when morning comes they will say when it is night so there's some powers tormenting people that people they wish it was a day when the day comes they wish it was a night because of this oppressor when this oppressor started operating you you can't have any peace therefore you can see the man called goliath goliath was uh, oppressing the children of israel for 40 years he didn't know that there is anybody who can destroy him. He was just oppressing, cursing them, and cursing them, cursing the children of Israel. You see, Goliath did the way, if you see the picture of Goliath, you will be shocked how he was harm himself. And then David, the young boy, the boy, a boy, walked to Goliath without anything, but he was with God. Goliath didn't, didn't know that, it, that the, the boy can bring him down. So, Goliath was oppressing the Israelites and was killed. And he was killed. So, your Goliath, your, your, your Hosea, your oppressor would be killed in Jesus' name. He would be disgraced dead in the name of Jesus Christ. The child was, was killed by a boy, a small boy. He didn't know that this boy could have killed him because he's, he cast he cast the boy with his god telling cursing david with his god <coughs> hallelujah praise be the name of jesus we serve a god we serve a living god so the same god that killed the goliath will kill your your your, your oppressor and no oppressor that is oppressing you shall be shall be killed in jesus name the Egyptians were oppressing the Israelites. The Israelites. And they are all perished. They died. The, the, the Egyptians, in the children of Israel were so oppressed. Forty years they were slaves, being oppressed. But all of them, they perished in the, in the, in the Red Sea. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. You are so good, God. I love you because of what you are doing to the oppressor. The oppressor that does not want you to go, they will sink and die, all of them. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> the 
the Red Sea would open for them very good. It would spread for them like they were following the children of Israel. And the Red Sea said, come, 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 come on. The Red Sea were clean. They walked in all of them. And then the Red Sea come together and, and, and swallowed and killed all of them. The east wind would blow and kill your enemies, all of them. They would die in the name of Jesus. Because they want you to, to die. Why should you die? Why can't they die? <laughs> Why do they, they want to finish you? Let them finish themselves. You have not done to them. You have not done anything. They just be greedy and jealous. They want to kill you. They want to destroy you. That's why we pray backfire in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be destroyed and backfire in Jesus' name. Yes, 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 good. <laughs> thank you, thank you. The Bible says the Egyptian you are seeing today, you will see them no more. Your enemy that is oppressing you, today you will, see, you will never see them again. Thank you, thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. You know, the Bible is good. It's very good. If you believe the word of God, you don't have to fight. The Bible says, don't, don't fight. Don't fight. Don't, don't. Just let me fight for you. Because when God fights for you, fight good. He's a good fighter. That's why the Bible calls him, he's a man of war. Oppressor must die before you can achieve your goals. They must die if you want to move forward. They must die. If your throne is to be established, that is why today we need to pray aggressive prayers. You are here and under control of oppressive forces of your father's house. God will deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God is going to deliver you. God is going to deliver you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. God, I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. My God, my Father, I pray that God, you will deliver your people in the name of Jesus Christ. At this point, Isaiah sent a message by, the, by them to Ezekiah saying that Jerusalem would not fall. Isaiah told Ezekiah that God would send Zenabab and his big whole army packed back to Syria because of number numbered abrasing there. So if you look at second second Kings 19, 32 to 37 and 32 to 37. I am not going to read, but this is what how you are going to read it and you understand by yourself. The Bible says, therefore, thus says the Lord. Concerning the king of Syria, Syria, he shall not come into this city, nor shoot any arrow there, nor come before it with the shield, nor cast a, a bank against it. By the way that he came, by the same shall he return, and shall not come in this city, says the Lord. For I will defend this city to save it for my own sake, and my servant David's sake. And it shall come to pass at night that the angel of the Lord, yes, 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 this is what I want to share. And it came to pass that night, you, you, you see, night, night, this message I was preparing midnight, but I'm pulling, I'm, I'm taking it tonight. At, 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 and it came to pass that night that the angel of the Lord went out and smite the camp of the Syrians, or an uh, hallelujah, God, I want to see. Yes, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> God is good. You child of the devil, hear the word of God. Hear the word of God. Hear clearly. Hear. This is a prophet talking. If you touch a prophet, a woman of God, nothing good will happen to you. You nothing good will happen to you. 
you will suffer the rest of your life. Child of the devil, I know you have been sent by the devil, but you are, you are, you are devil, your owner will regret the rest of, even they will regret the day you were born. So let's continue. And it came to pass that night that the angels of the Lord went out and smite the camp of the Syrians and hundred four score and five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. Just an angel of God went and smite to the camp of Syrians. That is why we want God to, to, to fight our oppressor. If we allow God to fight for our oppressor, he will do it. He sent one angel. An angel of the Lord went and smite the camp of Syrians. One hundred score and five thousand. That is one hundred and eight thousand killed. Just by one angel, shield and, and cast a bank against it. By the way they came, by the same, he returned and shall not come into this city. That's what the Bible says. For I will defend this city to save it for my own sake, for, for, for my servant David. And it shall come to pass that night. You see, that is God. As Akia and, and Isaiah, 2 second, second Kings 18, 1 to 19, and Isaiah 36 to 37. You can read it and you see how, the, how God was dealing with this oppressor. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. My God, I want to thank you and I want to praise you. I want to pray God, my God and my Father, in the name of Jesus. I don't know if I will continue tomorrow. I want to continue this oppressor even tomorrow because there's some some powers we need to deal with them. They have to 